How to create mock-up in Photopea. Photopea tutorial for clothing brand. Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel. If you have a clothing brand and you'd like to create your own mock-ups or if you're getting into building a clothing band and you need mock-ups, this is a fantastic way to actually create your own mock-ups. So this is how we're going to do it. So first of all, you need to get onto Photopea and this is the URL photopea.com. And once you're on there, this is what the homepage looks like. Now you can log in if you would like. That means all of your projects are saved on the actual account. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and tap on the new project over here. And you can import a bunch of different things right over here from this homepage. So you can actually import from your device from the account, the P drive, your Dropbox, your OneDrive, and your Google Drive. And if you have some shared drives and a private folder on your Google Drive, you can actually import straight from there. And then you can just drop the files on this drop any files here block. You can also see over here at the bottom of this page, it tells you all of the formats that are actually supported. So PSD, AI, XD, Sketch, PDF, XCF, RAW, and a bunch of these others. So as we said before, we're going to jump into new project. So we can first tap on new project and we can get into this page over here. Right over here, you can now start defining your new project. So for example, we can give the project a name and we're going to say t-shirts perhaps. And then you can start defining the size. So you can either work in pixels, percent, centimeters, millimeters, and inches. Now, this literally depends on how you want to work. So I'm going to leave it as pixels, and then you can just define the height and the width, and then your DPI and your pixels per inch or pixels per centimeter, and then you can start defining how your canvas is actually going to look. So the background is white, or we can make it black, or we can make it a transparent, or we can customize it. For now, I'm going to leave it white. And over here, you can see that there is a more option. So you have a couple other bits and pieces that you can select. Once you have defined those settings, you can go down and you can actually select pretty much any one of these. And the only reason I say any one of these is because all of these have different sizes. However, the only reason you are selecting any which one is because you're not actually having to post this on social media. You're not specifically looking for a print or a photo on a specific item. We are just going to go for an FB, which is Facebook event image, and purely because it is in 1920 by 1080. Once you select that, you have a blank canvas, whereas you can now start to create your mock-up. Once we're done, we're going to tap on create right over here, and it'll take us to our builder. On the left hand side, you can see that there are a couple tools. You have a move tool, a select tool, a crop tool. You can also do some healing if you'd like. There is a brush and a razor. You can also have your image a gradient, so you can fade your specific colors or specific layers. You also have a blur tool, a dodge tool, which is if you would like to lighten or darken. You also have the text, a pen, a path select. You can draw shapes. And then you have a hand tool, a search tool, or a zoom tool. And then you can play around with your colors right over here. Now, this is your canvas, and right now it is empty. On the right-hand side, you can see it says layers. And what you basically see here is all your layers. As you can see, this is the only layer that is actually on this template right now. You can do a bunch of things. You can actually lock it. its transparency. You can lock its position, and you can change its fill capacity. You can also go into where it says normal over here, and you can change what it actually looks like. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it just as is, and we are going to add a t-shirt so that we can create a mock-up. So, of course, there are a few different ways of doing so. The first way I'm going to show you is jumping into a website called thebrandbible.us, and that is the URL right over there, and this is basically what your homepage will look like. You can then tap on resources on the top left-hand side, and it'll bring you to this page over here. Now, this is not my preferred method. However, it is 
an easy method if you want to create some mockups. So there I have a couple of options over here, but you're going to go all the way down to free mockup vectors. And once you tap on that, it'll open an entire library of vectors in a Google Drive. Now you can have a look through all of these vectors and you can actually see which one you'd like to use. You can go ahead and select any one of these. They are backpacks to balaclavas to hoodies, t-shirts, shorts, and it's quite a large bucket of vectors so as you can see here they're starting to open and if you want to use something like this it's quite nice so for example the dad hat you can see that it has sort of the different angles the jeans or pants you can see there's from the front a view from the back and all of the details over here so if this is something that you would like to use this is a fair way of doing this there is a second option if you'd like to make more realistic looking mockups. And I personally like to use Unsplash. Now, Unsplash is a royalty free image search website. So the URL is unsplash.com. And at the top, you will see a search bar and you can just type in whatever it is that you'd like. So I've typed in clothing mockup. You can type in t shirt mockup or anything else. As you can see, it gives you some results. Now, the top results are all paid, but if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there are a bunch of free mockups that you can actually use. So for example, we could use say this image over here, which is quite nice. It's got a bunch of different colors. So if you are using this image, then you can sort of display what people are gonna be seeing on your t-shirts or whatever other item you need on different colors. Another one to use is actually something like this because now you can actually see your t-shirt sitting in on a clothes hanger. It's a little bit more realistic so it depends on which one you'd like to go for and as you scroll down you can just look through what there is available and you can choose an appropriate image that you can now use for your mock-up now i've found one over here and as you go onto the picture you'll see there is a little download button and you can download that it gets downloaded straight onto your device and from here you can then just go back to photopea and you can just drag and drop your image right over here it will take a few seconds to load so here is your image and it is now uploaded so what you can now do is use the little blocks to navigate the image you can make it larger and we can now allow it to fit our canvas that we have used if you would like you can actually change the canvas so that it rotates so that it, the canvas actually matches the image orientation so if you just go ahead and you start navigating how this actually looks, we can then start our mock-up. And now you can see on the right-hand side on your layers, you can see now that your image is on top of your background. You can change this around if you'd actually like. So you just click down and you can drag and change the order. However, of course, we would like this to stay exactly the way it is. Now we've got a t-shirt and now what we would like to do is actually put one of our own images on there. So what you can do is you can open up any folder that you'd like that is on your desktop and you can go ahead and actually select the image that you would like to put on. So I've got this kitty cat that I'd like to put on here. And all you do is you go ahead, click down, drag, and you can put it on your t-shirt. Of course, you need to now start to resize this image so that it looks appropriate. Now you can start with the design element. And as you can see on the right hand side, this is a perfect example. You can actually click down and you can move the layers around. So now your image will actually be with your image that you're putting onto your t-shirt. It will now be in front of your t-shirt or on your t-shirt so we can select that now and we can actually start moving it around and resizing it so we're going to navigate over to the right hand side and you are going to tap these little dials over here and it'll actually bring up the ability to change the size of this image now it gives you the option to keep the aspect ratio so we're going to keep that so that it is still to scale and this 558 we are going to make 110 and you hit enter and basically what it's going to do is it's going to resize it if you're not happy with it you can actually just change that and it'll become a little bit bigger 
So let us continue to look for the size that we want. So let's say perhaps 160 and we're going to hit enter. And that's pretty much about the size that we would like. So once you're done with that, you can just tap on that menu again and it will go away. You can now take your image and you can place it in the position that you want it. So just for example sake, we're going to put it right over here in the middle of the t-shirt. So once you've now gotten your image exactly where you want it, you can perhaps add some text. So on the left hand side, we are going to tap on this text tool. And once you tap that, you can now put your text wherever you want. So on your t-shirt, you are going to tap down and you're going to open up a text box. And we're going to put some text right over here underneath our image. Now inside this box, you can tap there and you can type whatever it is you want. So let us say cyborg cat nation and you can now change everything about this text that you see over here so up at the top you can see that there is a toolbar you can change the size color and style so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to select the text and you can just either click three times and it'll auto select the text or you can just click down and drag your cursor over the text now we can change the size of the text so it's now in 24 pixels we can just move it up and let's say perhaps we're going to make it 40 pixels that looks fantastic we can then also just center it and we can maybe just change the color right over here so let us have a look at what sort of colors are available Maybe we can make it something more towards our neutral colors. Maybe we can make it black. So you can either pick a color from here or you can go down to the bottom here. Tap on the appropriate color. Tap on OK. And it'll now be in that color. So if you click away, you will now see that it is right over there. Now what you can do here is on the right hand side, you can select your layer and you can now click down and you can change everything that you'd like to change about the actual element. You can move it around just by going to the top left hand side and tapping the move tool, which is this one over here. And you can just tap on the move tool. And now you can tap down and you can move this anywhere you would like to move it. So let's say we're going to put it right over there. And I think that looks pretty decent. And now your t-shirt is pretty much up and running you can do this with any other item of clothing that you your brand supports or that your brand produces so you can do t-shirts you can do hats you can do hoodies pants whatever it is that your clothing brand actually produces and once you're done with that you can go up onto the toolbar you can see that there at the top left hand side it says file we're going to tap on file and as you travel down you can now tap on save as PSD or you can say save more you can save it now to your storage on your actual device that you're using or you can export it as a bunch of these other formats over here so you can choose whichever one you'd like to do so and it'll get saved onto your actual device and there you go you can now use Photopea to create all your mock-ups and you can create it however you want and on whatever items you'd like for your clothing brand I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you enjoy the content we create. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.